Okay, so for today's lesson, I want to go over graphing in algebra. And I know for a lot of students, they feel intimidated when they see an equation for a graph and they have to graph it. So I just want us to just go over a few helpful tips that I think will help you when you're trying to graph a line or an equation and you just don't know what to do or where to start. So I'm sure everyone has heard of slope intercept form. And just write up on your piece of paper, slope intercept form, and that is y equals mx plus b. So m stands for the slope, and b represents the y intercept. Y intercept just means if I have a line, where does my line cross over the y axis? And so the y intercept is usually written zero and then whatever the value for B is. I just wanna go over one other thing before we start working on some equations and graphing them. If you ever see an equation, for example, it's Y equals X plus two. And I said, okay, what is the slope? And so you went to see, okay, the slope is the number before the X and there's nothing there. Would you say that the slope is zero? If you say the slope is zero, then that is incorrect. Anytime you see an X by itself, it can either even be a negative X. There is always gonna be an invisible one in front of it. So in this equation, even though the X is by itself right now, you can always put in that invisible one right in front of the X. And so the slope or the M would be equal to one. That's good to know because there are a lot of equations that just say y equals x plus whatever number. And I don't want you guys to get confused. So let's go ahead and put what we know into practice. So we're gonna start with, oh my goodness. We're gonna start with, sorry guys. We're gonna start with y equals x plus two. My very first step is what I just taught you. I'm gonna go ahead and put the one in front of the X. And so I'm gonna identify, okay, what is my slope? My slope is one. Whenever you're writing slope, it's always easiest to, best, to write it as a fraction. So one as a fraction is equal to one over one. So it means one, you're gonna rise one, and then you're gonna run one rise one, run one, okay? And then B is equal to two. And remember, the y-intercept is written zero comma B. In this case, it would be zero comma two. So we have our slope and we have our y-intercept. Let's begin graphing. So I'm gonna start by making my little arrows because I just gotta. And I'm gonna start by putting the points, my y-intercept on the y-axis. So I'm gonna to go to zero, which is here, and then I'm gonna go up to one, two, and I'm gonna make my point. That is my y-intercept, and that's gonna be the first step that I do, is I'm going to graph or put the point on the y-axis, the y-intercept. Then I'm gonna to go to my slope, one over one, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna rise one, and I'm gonna run one. I'm gonna rise one, and I'm gonna run one. Rise one, and run one, okay? And then I have to go back to my y-intercept and do the opposite. Now I'm going to go down one, and then go over one. Go down one, and over one. And so now, I have a straight line like this. And so this line is equal to y equals x plus two. If you wanna make sure that you graphed correctly, I recommend doing these two things. Make sure that the y-intercept was graphed correctly. And so we did zero, one, two, okay, perfect. Then I want you to look at your slope. Is your slope a positive slope or is it a negative slope? A positive slope will go up like this, 
a negative slope will go down like this. One was a positive one, so our line should be going up. So is our line going up? Yes, it is. So it's very likely that our line was graphed correctly. So let's move on to the next example. All right, so this next example is gonna be y equals x minus four. My very first step, you know what to do, is put that invisible one in front of the x, and then we're gonna identify, okay, what is the slope? The slope is one. We're gonna make that a fraction, one over one. And so we know that our slope, we're gonna rise one, and then we're gonna run one. Rise one, run one, okay? Then we're gonna identify our y-intercept, and that is negative four. So remember, y-intercept y -intercept is written zero comma b. So in this case, zero comma negative four. I can look at my line and say, okay, my slope is positive, so my line should be heading in an upwards direction. So let's go ahead and graph this line. And I gotta make my arrows. Okay, so first we put the point of the y-intercept on the y-axis, so zero, negative four. So instead of going upwards like we were doing before, we're gonna go down to negative four. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna make my point on the y-axis. So I did my y-intercept. Then I go back to my slope, and again, it's up one over one. Up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. And then I'm gonna do the opposite in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna go down one, over one, down one, over one. And I'm gonna connect the points. Oh my goodness, I missed the point. <laughs> but you see what I'm trying to do. And I've graphed my line, y equals x minus four. Did I plot this correctly? Let's check. So my y-intercept is zero, negative four, and I got zero, negative four, good job. I was supposed to rise over one, one, it's going up one, up one, down one, down one, good job. And my line is supposed to be a positive slope because it's going upwards, and yes, my line is going upwards. So yes, I put this line on the graph properly. I was able to graph it how it was asked of me. So let's go ahead and move on to the next line. And so we're going to start making them a little bit more difficult just so that we can make sure that we really understand the concept of graphing these lines. So now we have y equals negative 3x. Okay? So again, our very first step is to identify the slope. So the slope is negative 3. So negative 3, and we're going to make that as a fraction, so we're going to put it over 1 so that we now know that we're going down three over one, down three over one, okay? This is a negative slope, so our line is gonna be going downwards. It's negative, so we know that our line is gonna have to go down instead of going up like the last two lines that we did. And then we have to go to the, uh, wait a minute, <laughs> what happened to the y-intercept? It's not there. So when the y-intercept is not there, it's as if you're adding zero. So if you're adding zero, remember the y-intercept is b, zero comma b. So if b is equal to zero, then our y-intercept is zero comma zero. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have to draw our little arrows and let's go ahead and try to graph this line. So first we graph our y-intercept, which is zero, zero, which is right here at our origin. Then we have to look at our slope and it's negative three over one, down three over one. So we're gonna go down three over one, down three over one, down three over one. Now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna go back to our origin. We're gonna go back to our y-intercept. We're gonna go up three over one, up three over one. And we're not gonna judge me for how straight I make this line. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. I did it. So this line is equal to y equals negative 3x. Did I draw it correctly? Well, let's check a few things. Okay, so the y-intercept is 0, comma, 0. And so I put my y-intercept right there. Great job. I knew that my um, slope was going to be a negative slope. And so it was, should be going down. So yes, my line is going down. Good job. And then the slope was negative 3 over 1. So I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1 down three over one, and then up three over one, up three over one. So I was able to graph this properly. And so let's try one more type of equation. And we're gonna do y equals three half x plus one. And now I just want to see, okay, would you be able to do this on your own? Would you be able to know what steps are you are required in order to graph this line? So yes, we're gonna make a little arrows. First things first is we wanna identify what our slope is. So our slope is three over two. It's already in fraction form, so we don't have to make it into a fraction. So now we know that we're gonna go up three over two, up three over two. We know that our slope is a positive slope, so our line should look like this, going up and down. And then we have one for our y-intercept. Remember, y-intercept is written zero comma b, so it'll be zero comma one. So our very first step would be to plot our y-intercept, which is zero, up one, make our point, and then we just follow our slope, which is three over two. So we're gonna go up three, one, two, three, over two. Up three, over two. And that's as far <laughs> as the screen will allow, allow us to go. So then we're gonna go in the opposite direction. We're gonna go down three, over two. Down three, over two. And now I'm gonna try my best to draw a straight line. I totally missed the point, but you guys get my drift. And that's my line for y equals 3 half x plus 1. And so let's just double check one last time. Did we graph this, this line correctly? So did we do 0 comma 1 for the y-intercept? Yes, we did. Is it supposed to be a positive line going upwards? Yes. Is our line going upwards? Yes, it is. Good job. And are we rising three and running two? One, two, three. Yep, one, two, three, one, two. So we were able to graph these lines correctly. So let me know if you need any more examples of how to graph a line that's written in slope-intercept form. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any video requests, please let me know. Share, subscribe, come back because I'll be uploading more videos. I hope you have a great rest of your day.